Hello guys, in this video we will see how to set up Spark 3.5.3 on Ubuntu operating systems. Okay, first the prerequisites to set up PySpark is Java and Python. Okay, first verify whether we have the Python and Java installed or not. You Python 3. See, we have the Python installed. Okay, control Z to quit. Now verify the Java version. Java hyphen 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 version see we have the java installed the version is open jdk 70 if you don't have java version then go to google search for java jdk click on the first link see if you want to install java 23 or 21 you can click on here and download this debian package if you want older versions like 17 Click on 17, see here, okay. Then download this Debian package. Then install it by running. Download it just by giving double get. Then you have to copy this Debian package. Right click, copy link. Then paste it. We have to hit enter. I'm not going to do, just I'm showing. After downloading, we have to run the command. sudo dpkg hyphen 9 then we have to give this package name that is jdk 17 okay this is the way to install java if you have to install or you can go through the link provided in the video description to install java jdk and ubuntu machines okay control c control f now go to spark official website that is go to spark dot apache dot org hit enter then click on download see here we have the versions 3.5.3 and 3.4.4 but the setup process is same okay then download this spark zip file just click on it now click on this or this link to download click on it see download has been started and its size is 382 Megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Now go to terminal, then go to downloads directory. Ls. See here we have this Spark zip file. We have to unzip this file. Tar hyphen x b z f. Then give the if file name give the tap to autofill hit enter ls see here we have the extracted file i want to copy this file to opt directory sudo cp spark slash opt spark hit enter See, it is going to copy this this extracted folder to this directory and it is going to rename as Spark. Okay. Okay, I have to give hyphen R. LS. Now go to this slash OPT directory. LS. See here we have this Spark nothing we have changed just i have copied this directory to here and renamed let us verify the contents of this directory spark ls see here we have all the files okay go back pwd after extraction and copying to this permanent location we have to set the environment variables so first set sudo vi forward slash dot bash rc hit enter go to the bottom shift a and hit enter now give export spark underscore home equals to give the opt spark hit enter then path 
equals to dollar path colon dollar spark underscore home then give the bin okay again verify path equals to dollar path colon then dollar then this spark underscore home variable then in this directory we have the bin directory then press escape from your keyboard colon wq exclamation hit enter okay after this we have to run command source then dot bash rc hit enter it is done everything we have configured okay now give the spark hyphen shell hit enter it is hyphen shell hit enter see we have successfully connected to spark shell shell let's say it, it is going to con load the information see this is web UI see this is web UI URL copy it paste it hit enter see we got the spark shell application ui and jobs stages storage environment here see this is spark shell and this is the version of the java okay and this is the version of scala now go back see we have set up the spark version 3.5.3 okay if you want to get PySpark shell, control G to quit. Now give just PySpark and hit enter. Here, this is the PySpark web UI. Copy it. See, it is just nothing but this is the IP of my machine and this is the port number. Okay, open new tab, paste it, hit enter. See here, by spark shell. Here it is, it was spark shell, which means scalar shell. Okay, no jobs are there, stages, no stages, storage, nothing. If you go to environment, see here, we have the by spark. Before, it was spark shell, okay. See the version and everything, okay. If you want to create sample data frame, df equals to spark dot create data frame. enter now df dot show see we got the data from this data frame okay you can also like we can also do whatever the actions that can that can be performed on data frame see this is the scheme of the data frame okay Again, if you want to come out, just give control Z. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to set up this Spark 3.5.3 on Ubuntu operating systems. For more PySpark data engineering videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.